Maya Romanoff is definitely a, an eponymous company. Certainly at the heart of it is Maya's vision of beauty. Maya is as much an inventor as he is a designer. He's had the consistent production of fresh ideas. The character of the person who is making the design is completely expressed in that design. And the more fascinating the person I find, the more fascinating the design. He strikes me as a person who is just inspired by everything. It's not just art, it's life and travel. And I think he incorporates that into the things that he does. I was so fascinated by Maya's way of working, which is very, very different from a lot of artists that I met before. To interact with everything in the environment, basically, to get an inspiration from smile, to get an inspiration from the city, to get an inspiration from nature. That's the genius of Maya Romanoff, is his ability to distill those qualities into a product that rolls off a line. Maya was hanging tie-dyed fabrics from large buildings a long time ago. That's not something that there are many people who have ever done, and yet he went on to turn that into a business. He wants to make the wall covering look like it's always been there, look like the color has always been on this paper, maybe there's black in there or blue, however strange the nuance is of color, it needs to be integral. What Maya has really tried to teach us all is um, how to see color and how to see things as we're working with them. Something about the depth of the material in Maya Romanoff actually makes the walls push out in a way and, and creates a depth out rather than in. There is a profound respect for materials and for the world we live in and I think that it really touches everything that we do here. As an artist, he has his touch and he has his aesthetic that, uh, that comes across regardless of what the medium is that he's working in. The main stage curtain that he created for the Harris Theatre of Music and Dance was very much treated like an art commission. He had total creative control and he did this really very feminine and interesting and beautiful art piece. Maya's work is so much about transformation so much about alchemy, just changing a wall, changing an environment. You blow that up to urban scale for some of those, you know, site-specific artworks, it's a moment of art. It's a moment of changing the way we look at the world and the way we exist within the world. I think it was about 18 years ago, Joyce Romanoff, then a Joyce Lear, came to work for the company. And in a lot of ways, that was probably the best move that Maya has made for his company. I think when I came in the picture, I uh, reaffirmed the value of what he's doing. And I was able to help him market it. I was amazed by this art that was going on a wall. Maya and Joyce have a, a great love story. I mean, they are a couple that I cannot believe how they just keep evolving. When he developed Parkinson's, it didn't really stop him, and it still hasn't stopped him now. Make a note to uh, ask them about doing three art I've had the good fortune of knowing a lot of wonderful people and a lot of very creative people. Maya Romanoff is one of the very wonderful creative people I've gotten to know who happens also to know how to run a business. Working for Maya Romanoff is really gratifying because you're making stuff and you're making really beautiful stuff and stuff that lasts and stuff that improves other people's lives and their aesthetic. It's this willingness to work together as a team and to experiment and to discover new materials and new products. Maya's always there to talk to. He, he always cares 
what's going on in our lives and he's there to help with anything that we need. You have to have a good relationship with everyone you work with to make product that comes from the heart. We have one of the best company, I would say, and anybody who have the opportunity to work for Maya, I think they should be sticking around here because everything going up. You look at Maya Romanoff's career and the products and the innovations, I think the contribution is a very simple one. The idea that you keep experimenting, you keep looking for new processes, the work has to evolve. You know, it sets sort of a high watermark for the industry for, you know, what real innovation means. We're lucky enough to have our family involved in the business and they encourage him and they love him. Our family has ensured us that this company is going to go on. I don't know, I'm just...